The London headquarters of Elbit Systems, an Israeli arms manufacturer, was temporarily shut down on April 20th by activists belonging to Palestine Action and Extension Rebellion Youth. The activists locked onto the entrance of the building and sprayed red paint across the facade, forcing the company to shut down its operations for the day. According to the protesters, the red paint symbolized the bloodshed facilitated with Elbit manufactured weaponry. Though some of the activists were arrested, they were released later. This is our problem. War is one of the most destructive, evil things to plague this world. And people here understand that. It's so simple. Making weapons and profiting from them is not allowed on this planet anymore. The young people know that. This world is about to change because of the climate crisis and because finally children, young people are realizing that this system profiting on death has to end. The action comes in response to the intensified Israeli aggression on Palestine soon after the onset of the holy month of Ramadan. Israeli warplanes have bombed the besieged Gaza Strip twice this week already. The forces have also attacked Al-Aqsa Mosque several times since the beginning of the month of Ramadan, injuring and arresting hundreds of worshippers there. A similar demonstration was organized at the Tactical Systems Factory in Leicester on Thursday, April 14th. Palestine Action stated that UAB Tactical Systems, an Elbit Systems subsidiary, is a leading manufacturer of Israeli military drones used extensively to attack or survey Palestinians. The ARMS drone manufactured at the Leicester factory is among the many deadly advanced drones made by Elbit Systems that are supplied to the Israeli military. Palestine Action noted that the Israeli military sources 85% of its drones from Elbit, making it Israel's biggest arms manufacturer. Elbit has 10 sites across the UK, including four arms factories. The Elbit Ferranti site manufacturers the Sky Persistent Surveillance Systems for Elbit's ARMS 450 and 900 drones. These were used in the 2014 assault on Gaza, in which 2,200 Palestinians, including 500 children, were killed. All of Elbit drones are reportedly battle-tested on Palestinians under Israeli occupation. This is something that the company touts while advertising its drones to foreign customers at weapons, expos and other military sales events. Apart from the demonstration on April 14th, Palestine Action has already targeted two of the company's sites in the last few weeks. On Tuesday, April 12th, four activists used a body lock-on on a cylinder tube they were tied to and blocked the entrance to the company's headquarters. Palestine Action had managed to successfully shut down Elbit's old ham factory after a prolonged struggle for 18 months. You know, we went into it with a clear mission. We wanted to shut this, this, this company down. We wanted to shut Elbit down. It was as simple as that for us. We were sick and tired of begging and appealing to politicians who weren't going to act on this issue. You know, we've been waiting and asking for this for so long. But each time something happens in Gaza or each time something happens in Palestine, there are no sanctions brought by countries like Britain. Instead, they're actually deepening their ties with Israel's apartheid regime. And I think it gets to a point when you realize that Palestinians in Gaza and Palestinians in the West Bank and in the refugee camps um, cannot, cannot wait. The situation is urgent and we have to act with that same urgency. And you know, when you start to realize that actually these weapons are never built in front of the people that they will kill. You know, they don't build these weapons in Gaza, they won't be able to because the people would do the same thing we have done and they to stop the weapons from being produced, but they are built in front of us here in Britain where we do have privilege um, and we do have an ability to actually go out and stop these factories from operating. So for us, it's the most logical uh, thing to do. The group vowed to increase the frequency and intensity of its direct actions against the company across the UK. 